And I put up, you know, earn my Lexus and all of those, I, you know, social media things when I earned it. But it wasn't until April when I put up a photo of it, all of a sudden my friends were like, you got a Lexus? I'm like, where have you been? <laughs> yes. Right? But it's something about seeing that photo or seeing you driving up to the Starbucks and or something that makes it more tangible and real. So you're getting, um, you're helping other people achieve their goals, you're getting your Lexus car bonus, you're getting more money, more residual, and um, that Lexus is a great marketing tool. So you guys know, know all this. And then you get invited to the senior director calls with David Bird. So my funny, funny story really quickly about David Bird. So as NMDs, you get coaching with him, right? And I didn't know a lot about him. And the first thing he said to me is, well, so Sarah, tell me about what planning system you're using right now. And I was like, well, I'm, first of all, I'm not using a planning system, so I can say that. So I was like, oh, you know, um, I use the Franklin Covey planner. I don't know if you know that. And I, what I should have said was, I have a Franklin Covey planner. <laughs> so I said, I use the Franklin Covey He goes, I, go, I don't know if you know oh, that. He goes, oh, yeah, I'm familiar with it. He goes, yeah, um, I actually trained Stephen Covey. I was like, of course you did. <laughs> well, of course you did. You know, kind of funny. So anyway, he just helps you with your business. It helps you, helps with some guidelines. He gives you some tips and some, some, some more um, strategies about working the business side of it, how to track your business and, and set your goals and stuff. So as a senior director, you get invited to this call on Thursdays. And then in this picture, it shows, I don't really like this photo. And those of you who are NMDs probably don't either, because that assumes that your lines are even, which they're not going to be. <laughs> right? If you, in a perfect world, if you had five people in each lane that earned a Lexus, then yes, you would be in the qualification for your $50,000 bonus. But unfortunately, that's not usually the way that it looks. Usually, you might have 20 Lexuses in one leg, no Lexuses in one other leg, and leg three might not even have a heartbeat, right? That's kind of how it works. So, but eventually, you're gonna get to the 60-40 and hit your promotion, and basically what that means is that you can't, out of $150,000 of volume you need to be a national marketing director, you can only take up to 90 of it from one leg. The other 60,000 has to be a combination of your other two legs. Even if it's 55,000 and one and five and other, that's okay. But you can't take more than 90 from one leg. Does that make sense? Here's something I want to explain to you. Um, I don't, maybe you guys know this, and I was just the one that didn't get it. But when I first looked at the comp plan, I thought that meant I could, if I could only take 90,000 from one leg, I thought that meant I only got paid on that 90,000. You actually get paid as, on all of the volume but you can only count 90 of it for your promotion or for your rank. So there's a difference there. So it's not like, oh, after 90 it gets cut off and you're not getting paid on that anymore. You're still getting paid on it. So that's good news. Okay, and then we have our 10 core. This is, this is it. This is all you need. Like this is on your mirror, this is in your planner, this is what you're teaching your team, this is it. And the good news is, there is nothing on this 10 core that takes any skill. You notice that? There's nothing on this 10 core that takes any skill. Can you complete a new brand partner training? I sure hope so. Um, two exposures a day, committing to circling your bottles, attending a weekly meeting, um, finding your workout partner, doing your own. All of this is just action steps that you need to continually engage in. Repeat, repeat, repeat. That's it. This is it. This is the, this is the secret sauce. This is the beauty of Miriam versus many other companies out there. We drill it down so simple for you that it's like network marketing for dummies. But the problem is, is like that. Is it so simple to do? It's just as easy not to do, right? I have some eight pound dumbbells on the floor by my bed. You're gonna see a reoccurring theme with me in dieting and shopping, that's pretty much what I do, okay? So, I have eight pound dumbbells by my bed and my brain, I, my goal is that every day when I wake up, I do this little shoulder thing, and then when I go to bed, I do this little shoulder thing. First of all, doesn't even, as I explain this to you, it doesn't even make sense, because if you ever seen somebody that's like, you know, got nice toned shoulders and the rest of it's not happening, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> like, you kind of have to tone it all at the same time, but whatever, I'm, I'm doing my arms. And basically, I would say that I stub my toe on those more than I pick them up. <laughs> Because I'll be walking by, I'll be like, oh, there's the weights. Eh, I'll do it, I'll do it later. Oh, there's the weights again. Oh, I didn't do them this morning, so I'll start Monday. <laughs> oh, there's the weights. Yeah, 
yeah, I should probably move those. They're kind of nice or they're bright green. Oh, there's the weight. Dang, I just stubbed my toe on those again. You know, and then pretty soon, a week goes by and I haven't picked them up. Now, if I were to do my little shoulder circuit, it takes like three minutes. It's so easy to do. Well, why don't I do it? Good question. I'm asking you guys. Why don't I do it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I need to go home and do it. Now, it's obviously because it's just not that important to me, right? It's just not that important to me to do it. People are motivated into action by inspiration or desperation. And obviously, I'm just not that desperate. And I'm certainly not inspired. Because it's a slight edge. I'm thinking to myself, if I don't do it right now, it's not like all of a sudden I'm going to be ripped. Or if I do them today and I take the time, it's not like all of a sudden I'm going to be, you know. I, it's a slight edge, but every single day that I walk by those weights, it's keeping me from my goal. Same thing with the 10 core. How easy is it to go to bed without doing your 10 pages? Easy. How many people do it? A fraction. A fraction of people will actually read it. In this room, I bet if I asked you honestly, how many people for the last 30 days of every day read 10 pages, not very many hands would go up. It's true. Why? Simple, it's in your 10 core, there's nothing else you gotta be responsible for, it's just, we just it's, it has to be important to you. It has to matter to you, which goes back to why you're doing this in the first place, and why it's so important to be grounded in that. And here's the deal, if you really believe that that 10 core, that, that those 10 pages is gonna make a difference to you, would you do it? If you really believe that if you did 10 pages for 30 days, your business was gonna be different 30 days from now, would you do it? There's a difference between believing and knowing, isn't there? Kind of like with our product. We know the product works. We did all of the research, the scientists, the ST&T, all of the pictures. We know it works. It's not like, oh, we hope this works. But when it comes to the business, if we haven't experienced it already, we don't know it works. We believe it works. We hope it works. We've seen it work for other people, but we don't have it in here yet. Am I right? So how do we get from the point where we're hoping it works for us, or we've seen it work, or we're, you know, praying about it, and over here where we, we get it, we know that it works. And when you get it, and you know that it works, you're going to do your 10 core. Because that's how you know that's how you get where you want to go. It's kind of like um, Facebook. I think I said this last night. A few years ago, there was a group of guys that were like, I have a great idea for this, this platform where every time you go to Costco, all your friends are going to know about it, right? It's going to be brilliant. And then some people were like, uh, I don't see that working. I don't care what your salad looks like. I don't, I don't see that being important to anybody. And then some people were like, yeah, I get it. Well, now everybody knows. Everybody knows that it works because we see it. Some people thought we could land on the moon. Some people said we never would. Well, now it's not up for debate. The 10 core isn't up for debate. This is what it is. This is what works. This is how you get from brand partner to director to NMD. This is how you get there. And you can try another way all you want, but you don't know a better way than Jeff Olson. But if it matters to you and you really believe it, you'll do it. Otherwise, you'll just kick the weights. Okay. Oh, I'm good because I just said this. Like, I like the way, I like the way, yeah, right on. Okay. So it's a simple discipline. Seriously, I didn't know this was nice. So this is the disciplines. We we either are going in the direction we want to go, or we're going away from the direction. Every time we kick the weights, or every time we pick up the Oreo, or every time we don't read, or every time we're listening to Hair Nation instead of listening to our our CD. Every time we don't prospect, every opportunity we don't take to talk to someone, every time we don't pick up the bottle, every time we don't do a three-way, every time we don't get on the corporate call. Our arrows are going the wrong way. Did you know that an airplane that takes off in Seattle, landing in New Jersey, if it's off course one degree, it will land 150 miles from the airport, but all that time crossing the country, you wouldn't even know it was off course because it's just one degree. It's the same kind of a thing, right? You might not think it's a big deal not to get on the corporate calls. You might think it's a big deal, not a big deal to um, get your bottles out. But those are the things that propel your business forward. And what if you got that one nugget on that one call that totally had that epiphany for you that changed your paradigm about everything you do? But you didn't get on the call because you were watching Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> and 
hypothetically. <laughs> I'm going to have Lori come up and help us out with recognition. This is this is a really um, this is my favorite part. So come on up, Lori, and take care of this.